Hello dear students, now today we are going to see how do we build a regression model using a neural network. Okay, so in this particular topic we are going to talk about simple linear regression. I know you are already aware about simple linear regression in your machine learning. But in this we are going to see how do we uh, build this simple linear regression using normal neural network an artificial neural network how are you going to build a regression task so already you know linear regression is a linear model when you what do you when when do you call it as a linear model when input and output they are linearly dependent to each other that means uh, the increase or decrease in the input causes an equivalent increase or decrease in the output there is no non linear relationship between them there is no random increase or decrease in the output with respect to input such model we call it as a linear model right so we are going to implement a linear model today and that model is going to perform regression action that is we are going to predict uh, some mathematical value out of it. Uh, so we are going to talk about simple linear regression. We are calling it as a simple linear regression simple because the number of the parameters that we are going to deal with is only one. That is you already know if it is a simple linear regression then the equation that you are going to deal with is of the degree 1. If it is a poly then you will have more than one degree. But here we are going to talk only about simple linear regression. Thus, I can write down here as a simple linear regression expression very simple as very simple as this y is equal to wx plus b. It is a simple linear regression. You know a linear model could be expressed as y is equal to mx plus c which is a straight line equation. Now since we already know how an artificial neuron looks like, you know the parameters are weights and bias, right? And input we are addressing by a vector by the value called x by a variable x and the output of this neuron we are talking as y. So you remember like from our last session as I told you, you have you have x1, you have x2 so on, all of these have associated weights w1, w2, all these goes to a summator and then to this you also have a bias and then you have some logic function over here which is going to give you an output y. So the output is the output is y, inputs is x and then you also have parameters like weights and biases. So if you want to write down a simple uh, model equation for it, it is going to be y is equal to wx plus b. Okay. So when the number of input nodes here I am considering as one very simple model we have picked up. So we are going to write single output y, single input x, associated weight with that input as w and there there is a bias. So now this looks like a very straight line equation hence it is a linear model. Now how do y change? The y is going to change based upon the values of x, okay, based upon the influence of weight and bias also. So you can plot these changes of y as a function of x in the form of a straight line and then if you observe closely and relate it to a straight line equation, then here the weight associated is working as a slope of a line and the bias associated is working as an intercept of the line. So if I draw this particular line and I take for an example uh, the there are two points that uh, we have picked up here uh, x1 y1 and x2 y2 in order to draw a straight line. So when I plot this particular straight line this is how it looks like the slope of this line the inclination of this line is going to be adjusted with the parameter of w and the bias uh, B serves as an intercept of this particular line. So you can form a single input linear neuron model like this if you figure out an equation of y is equal to wx plus b. 
okay now if we can solve these preceding equations now what are these preceding equations when you take arbitrarily any two points and here i have preferred to take an equation of y is equal to 1.477 x plus 0.089 that means my suggested weight here is this value and bias here is this particular value then if i get this straight line and i pick up two points on this particular uh, straight line i call it um, call them as x1 y1 x2 y2 then what could i write the equation of the line which is passing through these points if i consider this point x1 y1 i could write y1 is equal to w x1 plus b second i'll take the second point x2 y2 i could write y2 is equal to w x2 plus b suppose given that these two points are not equal then only we can continue them as two separate points and we could solve these two points and find out the values of w and b mind it the parameter of this particular model are weights and biases so we are here to discuss what is the best value for the weight and the bias in order to get the best linear model outcome linear regression model outcome so if you just go back and observe this figure suppose if you want to if you have if you have assumed a weight of 1.477 and a bias of 0.089 and you got two points and you really want to find out what best could be actually w and b okay this is plotted so it came directly suppose you have a line and you have x1 y1 and x2 y2 and you want to solve it so just looking at to the line you can trace out this the y value if you can see here this is your x and this is your y so if you could see this is your x you know where it touches and this is your y so you just plot it and find out suppose x is hitting at 1 point sorry y is hitting at 1.57 and x was at 1 so in this previous thing if x was at 1 if i take this then there's some value which is coming over here which i take as y and in the next one they have considered here x value as 2 so i just go back and take it as 2 and then what is my y value okay so if i take those things and i take and i solve it then i get suitable value for w and b so i'm doing the same thing here i'm assuming x as 1 and x is 2 here similarly i'll just check that line where it cuts the output i am going to take the suitable values of y now when you solve these two linear equations then you found out that for this optimum curve that we got the weight suitable was 1.477 and 0.089 so you understood with this that if i am able to get the best shape or best inclined curve and i try to solve these variables out of it then i will get the most suitable parameter of w and b okay so that's our main aim our aim is to fine tune these parameters of w and b to get a best result what are we doing we are taking the curve of best result and out of it we are trying to find out what is weight and bias at that particular time so i just took the curve you forget about uh, forget about this right now okay you had this curve you took two points x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 you cut it at suitable places and calculated what is the y that you are getting so once you did that you got this was x and this was y now you solved it after solving you got to a conclusion that your weight should be 1.477 and your bias should be 0.089 so what is the inference here is we only need two different data points in order to perfectly solve the parameters of a single input linear neuron model okay so out of it i conclude now that for a linear neuron model with n inputs we only need to sample 
n plus 1 data point. So, strategy of this particular express, uh, experiment was that if you had a simple linear model that is a straight line, then only two particular points will help you to solve this particular model by getting uh, your weights and biases. So, this was a simple uh, neuron model which was solving your simple regression task and we are going to continue this particular topic, but as of now this is the inference.